This week in our devotional, A Good Confession, we're talking about the estate of Christ's exaltation. His exaltation involves his resurrection, his ascension, his being seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and eventually his return and coming to judge the living and the dead. One of our passages this week is 1 Corinthians 15, and it's a crucial passage for me. It, it actually reveals why I am a Christian. So many people think that faith is actually faith in faith itself. In other words, people look at faith as a blind faith. They look at faith as not really having substantial foundation or reasonableness to us to it. It's it's just a faith that you're supposed to have. Whereas biblical faith has nothing to do with that. Biblical faith is trusting in an historic trustworthy person. Biblical faith is actually transferring your trust from your own efforts to try to be good, from your own efforts to try to attain heaven, and to actually place your trust in the promises of God regarding Christ. So Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 that he delivered to people, the Corinthians in particular, what was first delivered to him, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised from the dead on the third day. And then he goes on to say, if Christ be not raised, our faith is in vain. There, there is no pretension with Paul. I've heard people say, well, even if Christianity is not true, if we live our lives according to the Bible, we'll have led a good and fulfilled life. You know what Paul would say to that? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Paul would say, if Christ be not raised, your faith is useless. He would even say that if Christ be not raised, Christians of all people are most to be pitied because we're living a lie. But then it goes on to say, Christ indeed has been raised. And because Christ has been raised, He's the first fruits of those who will be raised from the dead. And we in Christ experience two resurrections. The first resurrection is when we put our trust in Christ and we're renewed by the Holy Spirit and we're given a new heart and new life. And then the second resurrection, when Christ returns, he brings us to the new Jerusalem where we will experience resurrection indeed. No more sorrow, no more death, no more crying, no more pain, and a place will never die.